Hey, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it very much. I hope to get responses back from you from all the different videos that have been put out here in front of you that you've maybe at this time taken advantage of. And if you haven't seen others, listen to some others because there's all kinds of great little tidbits of information that can help you in your business. Today, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people don't really understand, but it is really the simplicity of how things work. We're going to talk about speed. S-P-E-E-D, speed. And speed means the time it takes from this to this to get from here to here to happen. What I've discovered is that when I'm talking to a person who's motivated to sell their property and says, yes, please give me an offer, and I don't give them an offer immediately, right away, within minutes, they go to somebody else and get an offer from them. That's the way it happens. You know, my mentor... This is a guy that bought thousands of houses. This, this guy is just off the hook, off the hook. And I'm glad I got a part of my life to spend with him and take a lot of the knowledge that I gained from the, the him and another party as well as my coach and to be able to teach it to you. And he said, Don, nobody wins walking. Nobody wins walking in a race that you have to run in. He says, listen, if you want to walk, walk. But you got to get on the other side of the road. If you want to win, run. And I went, what do you mean by run? He goes, look, when you're talking to somebody and you're writing an offer, don't wait to say, you know what, give me a few days to think about it, I'll write up an offer and I'll give it to you. Write it right there on the spot. Give it to them in under 24 hours. Get at it right away. When somebody says they want to sell their property, go get it. When they call you up and say, you know, I got a piece of property I'd like to sell and I'm going to move to another state like Arizona, I get that a lot. I want to move to Arizona out of California and I really want to sell this property. You know what that means? Get there now. And I always ask him, well, who else is involved in this transaction? He goes, oh, just me. Well, who else have you shared this great opportunity with? That's an important question. Oh, uh, you're the first call. Why did you call me? Well, I got this flyer in the mail. Or the neighbor told me you're the guy. Or I knocked on his door and we got his card and his number. And he called me up immediately after that to say, even though I didn't get that information up front, that he's interested in selling. It's important that you move faster. You move really fast. If you don't move fast and you're not prepared and you're not walking up with your paperwork in your hand, go home. Go to the viewing stands. You're either in the race or you're watching the race. In it or watching. If you can watch, there's nothing wrong with that, but don't expect to make a profit watching because for some reason it doesn't happen. The only way you make a profit is by acting, by getting in the race, by getting into the game, and by acting with speed. Because people always ask me, they go, I had one friend, I was sitting in a Coco's restaurant, that's a chain out here on the West Coast, and I was sitting there, and I'm sitting in Coco's, and I said, hey, let me ask you a question. Uh, you want to sell your house, right? And the lady says, well, no. And I says, well, how long have you been working here? And she works at Coco's, because she told me, you know, she knows I'm a house buyer, and she wants to, you know, buy a house, but she needs to sell the one she's in. And, and I said, well, how soon do you want to sell it? She goes, well, I don't know, pretty soon, I guess. I said, what's pretty soon? I said, as soon as I find another one. I said, well, have you been looking for another one? And she goes, yeah. I said, you found what you want. She goes, yeah, but it's a lot of money and, and I need to have this and I'm short this and I got to do this. And I says, oh, so what's the reality of this actually happening in your lifetime or better yet, in my lifetime? And she said, well, I really like it. I'm short $7,200 in buying that house for the down payment. I'm already approved for the loan and I'd like to do it, but I need to come up with $7,200. And I says, well, how do you expect to do that? She goes, well, I have to sell the house I own in order to get that money. I says, okay, well, that's not a problem. Where's the house that you have now? And she told me, I says, well, shoot, why don't you just start moving then because I'll give you the money to go buy that house because you're going to sell me that one. And she goes, you'll do that? And I said, yes. She goes, well, that just sounds so simple. I said, it is. Did you get a loan for your new one? She goes, yes. Do you have an agent for the new one? Yes. Did you already make a commitment for the new one? Yes. I said, so really, you're only trying to come up with $7,500? She said, yes. I said, does anybody know this is how simple that your life is? And she goes, well, I tried telling people, but I don't really know how to sell my house. And I said, you just did. I bought it. We're done. Let's go meet tonight right after work. She goes, well, I get off at 3 and I have to pick my kids up. And, I, and she had all these reasons why we couldn't meet. And I said, well, how soon do you want to buy your other house? She goes, well, I'd do it right now if I could. And I said, well, when's your break? She goes, well, I can take a break now if I want. And I says, great. Let's take a break now. Where's your break room? She goes, well, I go out and back and stand by the garbage and smoke a cigarette. <laughs> and I says, well, I can't do that, but I can park around back 
And I said, you can sit right on the hood of my car and I'll write a deal up right now that gives you your 7,500, sells your house to me and gets you into your new house and you can do all that in just a few days. But we can do it now. She goes, really? She didn't even know I could, you could even do something like that, let alone think about it. I said, of course. I carry a purchase agreement, an affidavit, a declaration, a grant deed, a power of attorney, and a traveling notary's bunch of them, business cards. I'm in business. I want to make you happy and me happy. This is how we do it. Oh, by the way, you don't have to pay me a commission. And I said, I'm just curious. The realtor who sold you the house, how come they didn't ask you about the house that you're in and if they could sell that one for you? Oh, I don't know. They never asked. You see how I get 50% of my deals right there because the guy never asked, the realtor who sold her the house she's going into, only figured of that deal. Never even considered that. Listen, you want to buy my house, I'll sell it to you. In order for to buy this one, you have to sell your other one. He never even said, well, I'll sell your other one. They don't think like that. They're only concerned about the commission they're about to earn. They're not concerned about what you need to do to get to the next leg to make that happen. Me? I always say, listen, you mean buying that house is contingent on you selling this one to get the money? And she goes, yeah. I said, that's just great. Who's your realtor? Who's your realtor? She gives me his name and I write it one down. It's one of the national chain real estate companies, you know. The, and I said, no problem. Do you mind if I have a minor conversation without you involved with your realtor, seeing you've already sold me your house? And she goes, no, what do I care? I said, you're not paying a commission. So I just saved you a lot of money. And she goes, yeah, you sure did. And I said, okay, well, once we ended our deal, she signed it. I called one of the notaries on my, that I carry with that are traveling notaries to come right over to the back of that Coco's restaurant. I paid him an extra $25 to be there in 15 minutes or less. And I had everything signed and filled out and they just notarized and witnessed her signature and my signature and making our deal. Even the deed. Yes, I will get title insurance. Yes, it goes through an escrow company, of course. But don't let that hold you up getting the deed and having control of the property and have a signed, sealed, delivered purchase agreement. So now you control the transaction. You know, act with speed. That's where you make your money, not wait for somebody to make a decision. So here's the nice thing about all that. We're all said and done. She is so happy she can't even see straight. She's getting her new house. And I said, before you talk to your realtor about anything, please give me 24 hours to speak with them. Before you say anything to anybody, she goes, really? And I said, absolutely. She goes, okay, you got it. But you're buying my house, right? And I said, of course. We made the deal. The sign, sealed, delivered. I will back it up. We're buying it. Here's what happens. I call the realtor, the one that sold her the house she's moving into. And I said, Mr. Realtor, we have a problem. You have sold this house to this person. And he said, yeah, yeah, she's coming in now to buy it. We're all done. We're just waiting for her to come up with the balance of the down payment. I said, listen. She's getting that money from me. Now, if you want to sell that house, you're going to have to work with me. And what that means is this. You're getting a fat commission for this lady coming in using my money to give it to you. Yeah. Do you want to collect it? Yeah. I said, listen, you're going to have to give me a piece of your money that you're going to collect for making sure that she gets the money from me. He goes, well, what do you mean? I want a referral fee, a contract referral fee, not a commission. A contract referral free for having that lady whom you sold the house in come in and buy it from you right now within 24 hours of my conversation with you. Send me over a piece of paper saying I'm getting paid from you and I will make sure that she walks over and sees you with a cashier's check in your hand to close that transaction. He said yes. So you see, he could have doubled his money and made two sales. Instead, I took half his money. Thanks for listening.